I did want to um, just mention a couple of things that uh, are positive about art in the Correctional Centre. I've often heard, why are they doing art? That you're not going to get a job doing art when you leave here. You know? um, in me teaching, I'm actually teaching a couple of small modules through the TAFE that gives um, the inmates a certificate at the end if they pass in, in painting and drawing, um, which they can then use if they wanted to go to TAFE. The other good thing is that if you're seen to have been doing something good while you're in jail, something constructive, you've got a certificate, it's a little bit easier for, uh, for parole and things like that. If you can achieve some sort of success in something that's considered a, a good thing to do or something constructive, it builds up your self-esteem. And a lot of people come into the, the jail with very little self-esteem. So that, that, I think, is probably the main thing. If you're enrolled in my class, you can get um, paints and canvas and you can then take that back to your cell. So you can work at night time. And um, I tell you what, there's a lot of very keen um, art students in there at the moment because you know, when I come in, they, they'll bring all their work that they've done during the week to show me and it's uh, fantastic. In my classroom, it's a pretty nice atmosphere. It's a sort of secure atmosphere. It's not about being tough. Um, some of the guys are even painting flowers and things now, you know. Um, but uh, it's, it's, a, it's a comfortable place where you can express yourself. There's no sort of, it doesn't have to be any macho-ness. Um, there's the opportunity to sort of relax a little bit. And if you're doing artwork, I don't know if there's any artists here, but say it might also be housework even. You know, you, you get right into it and you get so much into it that you concentrate so hard on it that the other part of your mind can drift off and think about things. And in this case, that, that provides a, a chance for some self-reflection. Um, with painting in general, you, you're using techniques, you're learning techniques, yet you've got some sort of uh, a meaning often behind it, the context of, of your work. And in the situation that the, the gentlemen are in, in jail, they're probably painting things that are personal experiences to them, and often not. Uh, I watched a, a documentary on Alcatraz a few weeks ago, and there was one prisoner who said he did a lot of painting in his cell. And he said when he was painting the Swiss Alps, he was there. You know, he, he felt that he was there, and he forgot for a short time that he was um, in his cell. So there's that sort of benefit as well. Um, family is another thing. If you, I find it with the... I think sometimes they feel like they can't do anything in return for me and I'm giving them something but they've got nothing to give back. Uh, it's probably the same when your family comes to visit you. But some of these uh, uh, painters, they're doing little artworks and they're allowed to send them out. So they'll do paintings of their children or of their wife, things like that, and they can actually give it as, as a present. Um, I've got a letter in my pocket here from one of... The inmates. He says here in his letter, because he's, uh, well I'll read it out to you. Please could I get a large painting board? I've posted out the other two boards. I'm sorry that I can't get to see you, but uh, I'm on works release uh, every day now. And um, I need to paint in these times when I'm feeling burnt out. And uh, he's about to go back out into the real world after spending pretty much all his adult life in jail of 40 years. Um, and he's a bit nervous. You know, what are you going to do? You've got to suddenly pay electricity bills and all those things that you've got to do again. But he said to me that he's got painting and he can put his mind into that and that will be something that will get him even socially into a painting group. He'll be able to meet people. He'll be able to you know, spend some time out in his head by doing painting. So, so it is important. What I'm doing is important and what they're doing is very important. When you walk around out there, have a, have a little look. We've got some really clever ideas. Um, one gentleman who did the, the man in a box, do take time to read that poem. It's quite, quite funny. Um, there are some very good painters, as, as you'll see, and some of the, the ideas that they've put together are really good. So.